Consumer Price Index Horror, Trade Union Battle Raw, as Peter Gravy reports. Official figures show the Australian economy is going down the tubes again, faster than AIDS in a gay bar. The Prime Minister and former folk legend Bob Hope called on trade unions to exercise restraint. Uh, well, uh, uh, Max, uh, have I called on the unions, uh, the ITUC, uh, to exercise restraint? Uh, for guy who has significant uh, pie rise uh, in respect of the national wage case. Well, Prime Minister... Uh, let me finish, uh, if I may. Uh, excessive uh, trade uh, union demands uh, cause uh, of all our troubles in respect of the economy. Uh, uh, frankly, I'm uh, fed up with the union's failure to understand it. Well, forgive me, your former folk legend, but didn't you used to be a president of the ATUC? No. Uh, yes, uh, well... And um, you are uh, now a Labour Prime Minister of a Labour government. Is this true? Uh, uh, up to a point, uh, Peter. Uh, up to a point. In other horror news, there's been a major shock clash over Liberal Party policy on just about everything. With a raw conflict between new Liberal Party President Mr. Valium and opposition leader Andrew Gucci. Look, uh, listen, I'm going to make it pretty plain right here that we don't have any policy on anything at all. And anyone who says we do, well, just well, it's pretty serious. Well, Mr. Gucci flew immediately to the United States, hoping to purchase some second-hand policies from the White House. Peter Gravy, cut, bro. Oh, thank you, Brian. Good evening. Uh, football shock on the uh, fabulously wealthy Sydney doctor, Jeffrey Goldstein, has bought the Sydney Ducks football team the amazing figure of $6.3 million. Well, frankly, I was flabbergasted. Uh, flabbergasted. <coughs> Paying all that sort of money for the sort of football team was a bit like buying a first-class ticket on the next voyage of the Titanic. The sources close to Dr. Goldstone explained he didn't like the football team, just the television commercial, although he does intend to change the words of it. Up there for Jeffrey. Jeffrey, come on. Six million dollars. Where's the money gone? And this is what, uh, back to you, Brian. Thanks, Rocks. The way it is for Friday, August 2, 1985. It's horror. And the fat cats reeled in terror today as the last of their long lunches drew to a close. Peter Gravy reports. For so long to the third bottle of Chardonnay, farewell to the one last cleansing ale. But that was the grim news here as former folk legend Bob Hope and Treasurer Rudolph Valentino wielded the tragic tax axe. That's it, uh, time. Ah. Ah, yeah. The tax package horror was angrily attacked by the new opposition leader, Honest John Scrooge. In this live, I witness wish you were there interview with George Fungus. Oh, go on. I mean, couldn't you just pretend that you're Honest John? No, I couldn't. Oh, go on. I mean, just till we get a Mr. Scrooge puppet made up. Look, this is serious. It's not my fault if you haven't got a Scrooge puppet. Oh, it took us by surprise. It took you by surprise? What do you think... Oh, I do apologise, viewers. Our normal outrageous send-ups of the latest leader of the opposition will resume as soon as possible. Back to the studio. Foreign news now and horror guru tragedy at the U.S. commune of their blessed one, his divine oiliness, the bagwash Sri Raj Nashup. As Chuck Yablonsky reports... Here at the Purple People Commune in Hashish, Nebraska... The Blessed One called in news conference to announce that former girlfriend Fifi Laboom had disappeared with the contents of the safe and these secrets was bank account numbers. Oh, dearie, dearie, dearie me, my goodness gracious, what a naughty woman. She has taken all money, I'm telling you, isn't it? It's very naughty. Ah, uh, your earliness, sir, uh, do you have any idea why this has happened? Your goodness me, it is like, like the saying in Australia, you must never trust a Sheila, isn't uh, pardon it? pardon me. All people must be sending out their monies to me as soon as possible. Make out your checks to Honorable Divine Blessed One immediately. Otherwise, I am living in awful uncomfortableness, isn't it? Mm. Reliable sources here say the bagwash may have to sell a Rolls Royce or three to make ends meet. Chuck Jablonski reporting. Royal horror scandal and Britain reel today with the shock news that Princess Agnes, daughter of the Queen, had eloped with the milkman from London Martin Raincoat. The Daily Brute newspaper reported that the cranky princess 
had last been seen having a quick knee tremor in the back of a milk truck heading in the direction of Blackpool. Buckingham Palace spokesman what said... What are you uh, giving uh, on here? Uh, nothing, uh, nothing to worry about. I'll uh, give you nothing to worry about. Get him, John! Is he, are you sure this is the right thing? I mean, uh, he's first, oh, gracious me. Uh, uh, uh. Get him! That's right! Get him! Uh, 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 I see. Watch out. Uh, 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 uh. It's not easy being queen. Finally now, all the news and spot time. Here are the details. Rocks my Hey, Ryan, good evening. America's uh, cup horror scandal. And uh, frankly, well, I don't uh, mind admitting it. I was flabbergasted, just flabbergasted. In a uh, shock, a uh, new book, Aussie skipper Bruce Beetroot. I reckon he's done it all by himself. And nothing to do with a wing keel. Says he could have won the Blue Water Classic Race Clash. In anything from Noah's Ark to a manly ferry. And Mr. Beatrice's book, entitled Why Was I Born So Beautiful, is now on sale at all good bookstores. <coughs> and in other sport, uh, Rome, Emily Pope denies he's been signed by media magnate Humbert Merkin to take the lead role in a new TV soap opera to be called Vatican. <coughs> Out at the Australian Bicentennial Authority, a number of players have been placed on a half million dollar transfer fee in respect of a golden handshake situation. <coughs> Nice work if you can get it. That's a spot. Back to you, Brian. Thanks, Rox. The bad is for Friday, September 20, 1985. Stand by now for Vatican, starring Joan Collins, Bruce Beetroot, His Holiness, the Blessed Back 